and welcome to a new video series we're introducing that will look at diesel exhaust emissions, the technologies Perkins uses to meet global emission standards, and some important tips and information on operating, maintaining, and getting the most out of your engine that may use these important technologies. Before we get too deep into these areas though, I'd first like to cover what diesel emissions we are talking about, so it will be clear how the various technologies in place help to reduce those emissions. Let's start with the main emissions emitted by a diesel engine. We'll just focus on gas emissions, those that mostly come from the exhaust, although regulations can also include things like noise and vibration. The main gas emissions needing reduction are hydrocarbons, or HC, carbon monoxide, or CO, particulate matter, PM, this is often seen as black smoke from the exhaust, and oxides of nitrogen, also known as NOx. Hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, and particulate matter are caused by incomplete combustion. Hence why in more recent years the improvement of combustion using fuel systems such as common rail technology and multiple valves has helped. However, the trade-off to a better burn is increased levels of oxides of nitrogen. These are caused from the reaction of nitrogen and oxygen gases in the air during combustion, especially at high temperatures. Many countries or territories around the world have introduced emission standards over the last 25 years or so to address diesel exhaust emissions. The standards can vary based on the country or territory, the type of application the engine is in, and the power rating of the engine. But generally, over the last 25 years, NOx emission standards have improved by up to 23 times, and particulate matter by up to 27 times. In our next video, we'll start to break down the key technologies used to meet these emission standards on diesel engines today and explain how each one is critical in achieving the desired outcome.